So with the WTA Finals coming to an end a day later than it was supposed to, finishing on Monday, we have a change in the rankings. Big change to the top of the WTA rankings. But let's go have a look at what happened in the last week. The WTA Finals, we had in the final, Sviantec taking on Pagula. Both hadn't lost a set all week. And Sviantec dominating in that final. 6-1-6 love in under an hour to take her first WTA Finals trophy. And look, Pagula had a good week, but Sviantec was just on another level. All right, let's go over to the rankings now. And we have a change at the top. Iga Sviantec ends the year as world number one. She had to win the title. Had she had lost to Pagula, she wouldn't have got Back to the top, she is number one. Sabalenka down at number two. Going into the new season, Sabalenka was number one for eight weeks since the US Open, but Fiontech ending the season with a win, and she had to win. We have Goff coming in at number three to end the season. Rebecca at four, and Pagula at five. Vondrusova is at number six. We've got Jabur at seven, Mukova at eight, Sakri at nine, and Krajikova rounds out the top 10 for the year. And that is the WTA done and done, and Again, familiar faces at the top, especially Sviantec. Second year in a row that she is the year-end number one. So there it is, the WTA Finals ending the season. And what a way to end the season with the best player on the planet back to her best and dominating in that final series. She beat Sabalenka, she beat Goff, she beat Pagula along the way, all in straight sets, and she regains her top spot. But what's going to happen next year? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that Sviantec can be world number one another year, third year in a row? Something that Barty did in previous years. Or do you think Sabalenka can regain a number one spot very quickly? Of course, a lot of points to save at the start of the year. She's got to defend those Australian Open points, Sabalenka. So maybe not early next year, but Sviantec, she's back on top. She's about 200 points ahead. Can she stay there this time for another year?